What's going on guys, welcome to a new video and for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, I run a social media marketing agency, I've been doing so for quite a few years now and it's actually becoming um, quite a big and successful business, uh, we've got 10 employees and we have uh, businesses or offices in the Netherlands as well as in the UK and next to that I am also the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery which is a program to show you how you can start a wildly profitable online business without any prior experience and I just want to quickly film this video because I see people making the same mistake over and over again and that is thinking that clients care about all these little small details because at the end of the day the only thing the social media client cares about is their return on investment okay they're seeing your service as an investment in their business and at the end of it they want to see a return on it they want to see your service making their business more money or getting them better results more leads or more sales depending on what type of um, business or client it is okay so in terms of you know social media marketing there's all these uh, different types of services that you can add on to bulk up uh, what you're actually doing you know you can uh, post for them you can manage their socials you can reply to their dms you can reply to their comments you can reach out to other businesses via instagram you can create nice little instagram highlights for them you can post content on linkedin you can share their blog posts and you know it's all great and you know it definitely shows the client that you're putting effort into um you know having them as a client and you want to get them results but at the end of the day if you cannot not get that client a return on investment in the form of like i said sales or leads then that client will leave you okay so let's say for example you know you have um, a web store you know like a shopify store as your client now you know it's it's great getting them more followers on instagram it's great getting them more likes on their facebook page you know now it's great now that they've got uh, they've gone from let's say 600 to 10,000 likes on facebook but if you're not getting that that store any sales that client any sales if they're not seeing a high roas then you know that client will leave you same goes for lead generation you know if you've got let's say a realtor as your client you know again it's great having loads and loads of people seeing their advertisements it's great seeing uh, loads and loads of people like their page you know their realtor page and it's great that your maybe your post about any type of real estate that they are promoting and selling has got a big reach now because of you you know maybe you've boosted the post or you've you've done run like a traffic ad or anything like that that is great but again if you cannot get that client leads if you cannot help that client sell that property or you know sell real estate then that client will leave you at the end of the day it's all about that return on investment, okay? So when you are crafting your package or your deal or what kind of service you're offering, just make sure you understand that all those little minor details don't really matter. At the end of the day, you need to focus on getting that client results, okay? So when you're going the extra mile for the client, creating those highlights, you know, in my opinion, I would actually scrap all that and just focus on one service and that is Facebook ads because you know with that service you can get that client results and that's something that we've been doing slowly implementing over time as well. We used to offer social media management, we used to do all the the, the I call them like virtual assistant tasks now where you know we manage their socials, we try to grow their pages and now we are slowly scrapping all that because at the end of the day it's not going to get the client direct results. Yeah, okay, maybe you will help them build a brand over the long term but in the short term, you're not getting that client any sales. So unless that client is willing to take a loss month after month after month, just offer what is going to get them the direct results and which is Facebook ads. So lead generation, you know, um, conversions on their products, etc. Okay. Another quick thing I'd like to add to that as well is when you're pitching your service again, you know, you don't need a website. It does not matter how old you are. It does not matter what your logo looks like. At the end of the day, the client, when you're speaking to that potential client, when you're on a meeting with that potential client, that client only cares about results. Okay, so what what problem has the client got? How can you solve it? Okay, so don't worry about your website. And like I said, you know, all the all the details. Don't worry about how fancy your case study looks like if you've sent it in a drive link or a PDF form or what your logo looks like. At the end of the day, just listen to the client, ask questions, figure out what the underlying problem is because the client will always come up with some, some stuff like, um, yeah, we haven't got enough reach on Facebook or yeah, we haven't had any um you know comments on our posts or our engagement is down 
and it's up to you to, to figure out what the underlying problem is, okay? The problem behind the problem. And almost always, it all comes down to the client is not earning enough money. You know, the client is not getting enough sales. The client is not getting enough leads, okay? And then it's up to you to actually help that client do that with the help of Facebook ads, okay, guys? So, hope you got something out of this. Hope you've uh, now realized that all those little details don't actually matter. It's all about the big picture and the main results. Like the video if you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel for more. Leave a comment down below if you've got any other Facebook related or social media marketing related questions. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.